Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm going to make a, the assumption that there might be a little bit of a lag, but such is technology. That's how that's how it rolls. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. And I tend to find that when I'm on my uh, PC that there's a little bit of a lag when I do my... Um, Facebook live videos. But that being said, good morning, guys. Good morning. And today we're literally talking about you and your mental real estate. So what do I actually mean? Um, what do I mean by that? Well, thoughts actually become things. And um, this is an established fact. It's a scientific fact. It's a spiritual fact. It's a fact. You can see this if you actually review your life or look at your life. You can see that thoughts, things that you have thought, have come into manifestation. They have become real. So thoughts become things. It's like you might have um, thought about somebody and next thing you know, the phone rings, it's them. Or next thing you know, you're talking to somebody and they say, oh, by the way, I saw so-and-so and they said to say hello. You know, it, it's that sort of thing. Thoughts become things. Thoughts are real. So what are you doing with your mental real estate? Okay, guys, what are you doing with your mental real estate? And what I want to suggest to you is that your mental real estate truly is and what i say by your what i mean by your mental real estate how are you using your mind how are you using your mind and the faculties within your mind to create what it is that you say that you want i.e using the universal laws of attraction to create what you want and so how are you using your mental real estate well for me your mental real estate is the ground um uh, to construct what it is that you want. And it can also deconstruct, but it's the ground to construct what you want. And it, it's vitally important that, um, guys, as we, we move forward, particularly for my group, the, 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 the Laws of Attraction in Action, it's vitally important that as we move forward, I mean, we're already into the first 90 days of, of this year. And my thing is, have you, um, are you halfway? Have you met your goals? Have you exceeded your goals? Or have they fallen by the wayside or, or are you still floundering? And so the name of the game, guys, is to really start checking yourself to see where there is a deficit, to see where things aren't being constructed and or deconstructed in the way in which you want. So once again, your mind the mental real estate. Your real estate is how you use your mind, the laws of attraction, the faculties, your emotions, your feelings, you know, um, uh, how it feels, what it looks like, the whole nine yards. This is what I mean by mental real estate. So your, your mind, the mental real estate that you have is fertile ground to construct what you want. However, in order to construct and sometimes deconstruct, it's really important um, that you understand the process and that you um, make sure that everything is in order. It's also important that you know um, what you are actually using your real estate for. Okay, okay guys. So what I want to suggest to you for today and just for today is that you watch your thoughts. Just watch your thoughts. And I'm not talking about engaging in what you're thinking, you know, like I should have drop kicked them or I can't believe I'm still thinking about this. I thought that all those years in therapy took care of this issue. Um, I should have done this. Um, I should have done that. I'm, I'm talking about things um, uh, watching your thoughts in regard to what is floating through your mind. What are you currently using your mental real estate for? 
And above all, how much time is spent on things like that? You know, the if I woulda, shoulda, couldas. How much time is spent on old hurts? How much time is spent on new hurts? How much time is spent on um, trying to, to, to figure out something that you don't even really wanna do? Or trying to figure out a way to say no to something um, where everybody's going to be happy and you might wind up not being happy. You know, all this stuff. What are you using your mind for? What are you using your thoughts for? Because, guys, as I said to you before, and this is a fact, thoughts become things. Thoughts, your thoughts become things. So today, and just for today, if it feels right, of course, what I want you to do is to watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. And again, not to engage in and to, to critique what it is that you're thinking, i.e., oh my God, I can't believe I'm thinking that. Oh, oh my God, I need to get over that. No, 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 no. I literally mean to just watch your thoughts as they unfold. Oh, okay. All right. Don't put any emotional attachment to what you're thinking. I want you to almost like take a step outside of self so that you are observing you. You're observing your thoughts. And this is a really powerful thing. And what will happen, what will happen for most people, you know, you'll, you'll engage, you know, like, oh, I can't believe I'm thinking that. Or, oh, my God, I don't believe I said that. Or, oh, my God, I don't believe they said that to me. You know, or, oh, my God, I don't believe that happened. You'll engage. But what you will, what you will do is if you program yourself, and simply you program yourself by saying to yourself three times, I consciously want to review or view and or watch my thoughts. Say that to yourself three times. And what happen, What will happen? You program yourself and you'll catch yourself. You're like, oh, gosh, OK, I'm thinking that. OK, let me step back. And step back and look at the thought. But at the end of the day, guys, what I want this exercise to do for you is to, for you to see how much time you spend on things, things. Now, I'm not minimizing anything in your life and not detracting from anything that has happened to you, but how much time is spent on things that have no relevance or no bearing in where it is that you, wanna, you want to go. And I'm going to use a really broad stroke I'm going to use a really broad stroke here and say it's very much like um, learning um, Pythagoras or, or calculus. You know, it's like, OK, what, what am I going to do with this? And unless you're going in that direction where you're going to you're going to use this. It's something that you don't need. In my opinion, at any rate, it, it's that sort of stuff. So. You spend time thinking about stuff that really, mm, really doesn't have any relevance. And it's taking away, it takes away from you and the creative process of what it is that you are wanting to achieve and the things that need to be put in place so that you can achieve it. So for the Laws of Attractioners on the Law of Attraction in Action.com, Hey, this is this is today. This is what 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 we're doing today. We are literally watching our thoughts for the day. We're going to step back and review because, guys, as I said before, thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts become things. Your thoughts literally become things. And again, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to critique your thoughts. It's not about you critiquing your thoughts. Absolutely not about you critiquing critiquing your thoughts. It's literally about you watching your thoughts. It's not what you think about. It's not what you think about what you have seen or what you have thought going through your mind. This exercise, once again, is about you realizing how much of your mental 
real estate is taken up with things that have no bearing in your life other than um, perhaps they need to be addressed and or they need to be knocked on the head, knock it on the head, put it to bed. It has no bearing in where it is that you need to go. But that's all I wanted to say to you guys is what's your thoughts for the day? See how much mental real estate you're using up with this stuff. And um, yeah, and we'll talk about this tomorrow, what to do and moving forward from there. So outside of that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. It's a wonderful day here in Las Vegas. Beautiful. It's like spring. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that being said, have a wonderful day. I'm Dr. Dearborn, you can find me, Dr. Wendy Dearborn, you can find me at the laws of attraction in action.com. And of course, check out the group where there are downloads and PDFs and things of such. Take care. Peace. Bye, guys.